And on to your fourth film with Mr. Oates, uh, China 9, Liberty 37. Uh, Westerns by the late 70s were really pretty out of vogue. Uh, why, what was the decision to make a Western at that point? Um, I, it was uh, really the decision of the, uh, of the producers. I, I was uh, planning a thriller with uh, Elliot Kastner, and uh, uh, I got a call from him from Rome where he was meeting with these other other producers and uh, they had a, a western script and uh, he'd already previously shown it to me and and uh, I wasn't very uh, happy with it and uh, so when he called me I said well that that's not a very good script and he said yeah but, you know we can we can fix the ending we can do this and that and I said oh, well you know let me uh, let me play with it a little bit so <clears throat> I spent two weeks before going to Rome it was over the Christmas holiday so I had a excuse for not coming right away and uh, I got Jerry Harvey and uh, Doug Venerelli to to write a new script and then I got to Rome and Kastner didn't like it and he left the project but the Italian producers loved it and we made the movie I see um, the the treatment of, of women in the film uh, that being Jenny Agutter is that the proper pronunciation of her last name Agutter Ag Ag Agutter Agutter it almost seems to uh, resemble that of Peckinpah, you know. Uh, Peckinpah's films kind of have always been criticized as being misogynistic, uh, women inviting rape, whatnot. Uh, is that kind of the, was that kind of the intent uh, with China 9, Liberty 37? I don't think so. I think she's a very strong woman, and, uh, you know, she, uh, she but, might, she, her husband slaps her around, and she thinks she kills him. Well, she is kind of responsible for the whole, the whole mess in the film, the whole, uh, the bloodshed and all. I mean, I guess he's certainly equally responsible, yeah. Uh, and regarding Mr. Peckinpah and his acting role in that film, I understand he was meant to have a much larger part. Is that right? No, he was actually meant to have a much smaller part. Really? He was originally going to play the sheriff. Hmm. And he ended up playing the, the, the dime novelist. That's right. Uh, you had worked with uh, Peckinpah and Oates, both uh, uh, individually, independently. Uh, you were the editor of Killer Elite, uh, and of course you worked with Mr. Oates several times. Uh, what do you know of their relationship? Oh, just that it was uh, a love-hate relationship. They were, they were fighting constantly. Well, Peckinpah fought with everybody, but they right. were fighting constantly, and, but they, they loved each other, you know. I, I think I heard it said that uh, Peck and Pa would systematically go through and alienate all of his uh, all of his friends and associates, and then realize he had no one, and then have to rebuild all those friendships. Yeah, that's probably true. And uh, did you were you at all involved in that whole Montana scene? That uh, I know, Mr. Fonda, Mr. Oates, Peck and Pa, they all had their ranches up there. I don't know. Thomas McGuane may have even been involved in that scene. Uh, no, I, I was never there when they were there. I, I actually wrote, you know, just by coincidence, wrote a screenplay in Montana. Very, you know, like 30 miles from, from their uh, enclave, but uh, I, I didn't, uh, I wasn't ever there. You know, I never, never visited Warren in, in Montana. I see. Uh, had you had other uh, projects that you had in mind for you and Mr. Oates? Uh, not at the time, but I, I certainly have never done a picture since I, that I didn't think about him and wish he were around. Uh, do you know anything about the...